What's up guys and welcome back to another Nitro Type slash Nitro Math video. In today's video I'm going to be showing y'all the new feature they've added but now they've changed it. So let me just do this race real quick. Anyway, so as you see I finished the race. Now if you look down here at the bottom right there is the race again button. So if you press enter to play again now they've changed it. It used to say next race starts in five seconds. Now they have literally updated it as of I'm pretty sure today. They've updated it, and it takes 10 seconds instead of 5. Now, the reason this pops up right here, tap on the racetrack to activate your keyboard, that's because I'm on an iPad. I'm not on a computer. If you're on a computer, it would just go into the next race. So they have changed it from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. Now, personally, this change is interesting. I don't know if I like it or don't because I liked it better, I guess, per se, with the whole 5-second thing because you didn't have to have like an auto-reloader for people that are trying to grind. But now that it's 10 seconds, it's not really efficient to just let it load into another match. However, I do think it is better for not accidentally loading into another race if you don't want to. So it has its advantages and disadvantages, I guess. And if we go over here to Nitro Math, as you can see, if I reload this real quick, if we do a Nitro Math thing, I'm pretty sure this is a bug. It could not be a bug and it could be intentional. But as you saw, they have recently updated the whole five second thing. It was five seconds, now it is 10 seconds, so that's been recently updated. So on Nitro Math, what happened is there is no longer a countdown at all. So I'm currently actually in an 134 game session, I think, on here on Nitro Math. I've been playing for a while. So I don't know if this is something that only happens when I'm in a long session or if this is just something that happens as soon as they dropped the update where, you know, it went from 5 to 10 seconds if they disabled it on Nitro Math. Now, personally, in my last video, if you've seen it, you would know that I recommended that they disable it on Nitro Math because of the fact that you can really just AFK Nitro Math without touching the iPad or the computer or whatever. You can AFK Nitro Math for like hours on end and it's just by chance if you will get points or not. And then at the end of your, sometimes you will get logged out, but that's like after an hour. So you can get like two or three levels just from leaving your computer on and just leaving your cursor randomly and it would load you into another match. So I don't know if they've purposely fixed it or if this is a bug. So as you see, when the game finishes, I'm not going to touch the, I'm not going to touch the iPad at all. I'm going to leave it. First place, obviously it was only me. And as you can see at the bottom right, it is not starting another match. So actually, no, I was I was wrong, guys. I'm in a 137 session game. So as you can see at the bottom, the play again is still there, and I'm just leaving it, and it's not loading into another match. So it's very interesting. I don't think it is. It's either a bug or it's intentional, and they, you know, didn't really tell anyone about it. Now, in my personal opinion, Nitro Type and Nitro Math, the the news, the news pages, the news posts are kind of lacking. I mean, if you wanted to, if you guys wanted to go check out some older news posts, if you didn't know this, you can go down here to the bottom, click um, sitemap, and then you get every single news post ever posted. And some of these old things were like awesome. Like they they posted crazy stuff. Like, uh, like uh, million dollars for million races or whatever. They completed a million races in a day. So it's it's crazy. So, like, they literally gave a million dollars to everyone who's level 20 and raced 10 times the day that they got a million races, if they get it. So, like, they used to make news posts about some crazy awesome stuff, and they would make random news posts. And, honestly, I kind of just miss it. Like, they did some, like, just let's get social. They would just make a news post about, you know, stuff that they used to have in the game. They don't really do that anymore. Most of our news posts are months apart. So if we go to the news, we have, you know, 813, 808. So this is something I'm glad they did a news post about. But 703, so that was a whole month between these two news posts. Um, you know, they had two months, pretty much, month and a half between these two. Uh, the only new things really that they've released are like this right here. Good things come to those who wait. So I, th I just really think that they need to add more news posts that they don't always have to be related to the whole game. It can just be something small, like a little update. And especially they need to keep the 
uh, Nitro game updates, you know, updated. Because, well, I mean, like, casual mode launch, that's not in here. So, like, beta access to Nitro Math, that's not on here. So I don't know if each website is supposed to have its own um, updates page. But, as you can see on here, this has all the updates for Nitro Type. Personally, I think the... It says Nitro Game Updates, so I'm assuming they changed it so that it's, it's Nitro Type and Nitro Math. But since they're separate websites, I would make it so that this only applies to Nitro Math because the news page only applies to stuff that applies to Nitro Math. So there's no uh, there's no casual mode racing because obviously casual mode doesn't apply to Nitro Math. So I think the, uh, site, the site map should only have stuff that actually applies to Nitro Math also. Or, sorry, not the site map, the updates page. Should only have to apply to Nitro Math also. So thank you guys so much for watching this bug video, sort of, I guess. And I will hope to see you guys in another video very soon.